What's wrong? Someone claiming to be Henry in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. Um... So, I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. We don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. We just, we have to stick together, mm -hmm. okay? Keep our story straight. From the first day with those girls to the person breaking in on our conversation, everything. We just, we gotta be honest and consistent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Mm -hmm. I know. I've done this before. Also. Hey, there's a map in my tower that I'm pretty sure is not USGS regulation. Um, unless I've unknowingly been assigned to work in two orcs, and the lake to the east is made of acid. Two orcs? That uh, looks like it was made by Brian Goodwin. wonder if his dad hated this type of stuff and he felt like he had to hide it. Oh man, that would be sad. So you have a soft spot for nerds? I really do. What am I doing? Yeah! Cave time! Oh, wow, it is not nice. This... This reminds me of summer in BC, when every small town explodes, and evacuation is a constant worry. future of compasses electronic leap off a cliff <clears throat> so much quicker going down than going up makes sense you know let's let gravity do the work whoa game come on you're running so well most of the time and then every now and then you just shudder Probably just the recording thing. Which is, by the way, running fairly well. He's heading to broadcasting cadence for no fucking reason. Other than the fact that he's talking. Whoop. You. You didn't actually make that call, right? Of course not. To, to be able to look oh, out. Damn. It just stuck in my craw. I, I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. I'm not even going to answer that. But you could be lying to me too, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not. Yeah? I hope not. You know what? Forget I asked. Oh, I feel bad. I should have just said no. I shouldn't feel bad. No. No, 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 no. We both accused each other of something bad. And I accused her of being a voice in my head. Everything is gonna be okay between me and Delilah. Yep. Alright, you prick. Let's get this mystery unmystified. Fuck yeah! I was gonna shove it again. Let's use the I don't remember ever using the flashlights. I'm gonna eat. Whoa, 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 lordy! What the hell? Delilah, someone locked me in the cave. Is this thing working? Shit. Delilah, send someone to the cave, please! Can't get any damn reception. Jesus, this is a big cave. Am I trying to get out? Yeah. Now? I can't, sorry. 
Oh, okay. Alright, carefully now. And here comes the cave in. No, no cave in yet. I hear a thump. No, well, a thump. A single thump. It's gonna break. It's gonna break. Okay, it didn't break. It's freezing in here. Maybe this? No, it'd be beeping already. I don't need it. I don't need nothing. Jesus. What is going on? This cave is crazy. Ooh, stalactites? Maybe. I don't know. Stalactites, stalactite, whatever. I'm going to get corrected on this at some point. In my personal life. Not even on here, because as far as I'm aware, I don't really see many comments on anything. But... Oh, man. I apologize for what's about to happen. <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry. What is with the color palette? Okay. The sun. That is what the color palette's going on for. Yeah. Oh, dang. What the fuck? Turn it to a weird song. Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, <clears throat> Jesus! So, so you didn't find anything? No. Th there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. What? <sighs> I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. Oh, yeah. Man, this fire is really close. Is it? What? Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah, he <laughs> built himself a real castle. A bunch of rocks stacked up, he made a wall and a perimeter. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get... I get sick to my stomach. Yeah. Uh, sorry. He'd hide out here to read comics. The black band, his grief is his enemy's sorrow. Everyone this guy loves gets killed, so he honors them with a black armband which gives him superpowers. Well, that's... fucking dark. He was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. It's a little weird that he just leaves so much of his stuff out here. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I... Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... Uh, I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in two forks. I lied. And just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was gonna bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. Hey, remember that pack I found? Back on your second day? Yeah. I found a plan Brian drew about how he was gonna get it back. I'm sure it was quite elaborate. It's some wily coyote stuff, I'll tell you that much. Four to six, four rope, rocks, tools, boro, yeah. <laughs> Magnet hook angle, that's awesome. Um, Brian was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. Poor kid left his homework? Yeah. He must have been pretty smart, huh? 
Yeah, sharper than a lot of the grown-up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. What, you're saying I'm one of those knuckleheads, is that it? I wasn't, but, um, now that I think about it... <laughs> because I know lots of stuff. Oh, please, drown me in your surplus of knowledge. I've been waiting all these years for a man as wise as you to take this job. Well, that wait's over, sweetheart. <laughs> uh, call me sweetheart again, and you'll use that big sexy brain of yours to fill out your unemployment paperwork. Sorry, boss. I found an old school folder. Brian was a hell of a doodler. He made the place pretty comfy, too. That's an achievement. Yeah, at the expense of what are probably stolen pillows. That little shit. <laughs> There's a busted old toy out here, some sort of electronic game. Yeah? I like Pong. Everybody likes Pong. Gosh, Brian had everything he loved out there. It's a shame. There's some grade A dork contraband here. You found his pocket protector? I found a, uh, I guess... The data sheet for one Gladius Silva, half elf armor seven. Classic wizards and wyverns. Yeah, between this and the map I found in my tower, old Brian created quite the fantasy world. Gosh, Brian had everything he loved out there. Yeah, you, you, you said that. Fuck yeah. He also stole his dad's climbing equipment, his anchors. That's convenient. Yeah, it is. I think he was going to hide them in a cash box or something and never got around to it. I mean, he left a note for a ranger to find them and, and send them back to him in Nebraska. Because he hated climbing? Yeah. I mean, it sounds like Ned was pushing him, and pretending to lose his anchors was the easiest way to put a stop to it. <laughs> I hope it worked. God, what an asshole. Yeah. Man, that is the sort of thing that would have caused me to catch a beating growing up. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past old Ned. Hi, my name is Di uh, Dear Ranger. Hi, my name is Brian Goodwin. If you found this note, it should be with a bunch of climbing anchors, I hope. Could you do me a favor and please return them to me, Brian Goodwin, in the mail? My address is 55 Foxtrot Lane, North Platte, Nebraska, 69101. If you tell me your name and address, I'll give you a reward for this. You are probably wondering why I left these here. Well, they are my dad's, and I don't want him to lose them, but I don't want to do any more climbing on this trip, so I thought I should pretend to lose them. But if you help me get them back, everyone will be happy. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Ranger Brian. P.S. The reward will be good. Keeping this. There's a ham radio schematic here, something Brian was working on. Yeah, uh, I think that was the one thing Ned did do with him. You know, tinkering on stuff like that. There's also a postcard here from Brian to, I guess, his neighbor. What's it say? That he's with his dad and sorry he can't mow his lawn this summer. <laughs> oh, gosh. And also he was worried his dad didn't know when school started. I'd say that's a lucky break if I were him. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Ned didn't really seem like a, you know, with it dad. I guess I go back in. If I could walk around a rock! <laughs> was and ah oh! all right time to circle back around wonder hmm. no
put it there. Jesus Christ. And I lost the other one. Whatever. I did my best, Brian Goodwin. May a flight of angels sing thee to thy rest. Sweet. Quacha! I know I just implied that Brian's dead. I don't know this. I'm just guessing. Nope. Because there's any scientist what do you or... think is in there? I don't know, really. I mean, we got to find out. What do you think? Whatever it is, they don't want you telling anyone about. They closed the door when they could have just... Bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a... Are you serious with this shit right now? <laughs> a, a hatchet. God, are you sure you want to go back in there? Honestly, I just... I just want to know. I want to know what is worth doing everything that's been done to us. Yeah, me too. And not going to jail would be a nice kicker. South. Am I going south? Not southish. Oh, uh, also, those girls turned up. Oh, good. Looks like you didn't kill them. Nobody did. They took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and, uh, landed in jail. <sighs> Dodged a bullet there. Yeah, we've got enough unanswered shit to answer for, I'd say. Nope. Nope. I was doing so good for so long. Ha-da! This is also the longest I've ever played this in one go. I'm not gonna release it all at, like as one big thing because... Well, that would be insane. I'm not popular enough to get that and actually have it mean anything. That's not, that was weirdly worded, but you know what I mean. And either way, Chris and the others would be not happy. Alrighty. Aha! Just a python driving man. A chunk, a chunk. Why is it so jittery? Oh, that's because I was moving the mouse. I'm dumb. I apologize. weird. It's not like we're constantly talking, but we talk a lot. Jeez. Man, what are they doing down here? There. Oh. Music's picking up. Sweet, sweet synth is coming in. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, God. You fell. You're probably a good one. something for you, bud. That sucks. Yeah, I gotta... For 
kid that hated climbing, I don't know why he would try to climb inside of here. Maybe prove something to his dumbass dad. So, basically, uh, the people watching us weren't doing anything other than maybe not kill a kid. Oh, that was a big circle. Wonderful. Time for badness. Hey, D. There you are. I've been worrying my ass off. <clears throat> hey, you, um, might want to take a seat. I've been sitting this entire time. I'm almost always sitting. What's... what's wrong? The only thing in the cave was a body. A body? God, what a mess. Delilah. It's Brian Goodwin. <sighs> Gotta be fucking kidding me. How does that... <clears throat> what? I don't... <sighs> How? Climbing, I think, or... made to look like a climbing accident. Mm-hmm. Completely ruined the moment. I apologize. Look, I, I think that's just what it was. I mean, he was probably exploring the cave and, and maybe his rope gave out. Yeah. But whoever locked me in there probably didn't even know about him. Yeah. I'm sorry, Delilah. I'm so sorry. He'd be alive if I had told someone he was out here. I don't know where he'd be, but I can assure you it would not be rotting at the bottom of that cave. I... There's... there's... there's nothing to say. To hike back. I think we're leaving tomorrow anyway. <sighs> Ugh. Hmm. It's rough. No, I was just busy packing up. Well, there's gonna be a lot more. The service says this thing is 2% contained. Mm. Wait, is this the flapjack fire, or the site fire, or...? Well, the two fires merged into one unmitigated disaster. They're renaming it after my lookout. You about packed up? Shouldn't we talk for a sec, you know, about things? About what? We still don't know who was listening to us, who was following me around, who made that tape. Yeah, all we have is the body of a dead boy who did nothing wrong. But maybe we can still find these people. Look, I think whoever is out there caused the site fire to cover their tracks, and I'm almost certain that when I get off the helicopter, I'm going to be led into a room and made to listen to a tape of me saying we started it. And we don't know shit. What can I do? Well, there's something for you to do. Holy shit. Holy crap. Yeah, uh, oh my god. We don't know what it is. It could be nothing. Yeah, it could also be whoever was listening to us, who, whoever made the tape. Okay, yeah, um, look, you should pack up everything you need in case we get the call and you can't come back. All right, look, if, if something happens... I'll remember you. I was hoping you'd have a backup plan or something. <laughs> yeah, um, okay, I'm probably gonna move to Canada. Ontario, maybe. No, I meant if something happens to me. Oh. Right, if you don't find out who made the tape and I have to hit the road. Oh, forget it. Be safe, Henry. Don't go to Ontario. It is a silly place.
Whoa, game, come on. Settle your settle your jimmies. Get get them out oh I'm rustled. Get out of the trees. see what's gonna happen like I the reason I didn't ask about the kid uh, during that conversation was I really do think it what's was an accident really think it was an accident it, it's sad but I think I'm getting close all right well Nothing I just done. got word that they are coming to get us my place you sound worried no it's it's just Brian yeah. I'll coordinate with the evac team and let you know when to head towards the tram it's north, far, past where you found that cut back in May. There's an emergency tram out there that will let you hike to the rendezvous point at my lookout. I better not be going the wrong direction. Nope. Okay. So was it the scientists that attacked the, the camp of those teenagers? Who's the guy that was watching me? Was that a scientist? Where's this stuff about what? Someone left a rope for me to climb up. I'm down near the lake. How do you know it's for you? There's a tracking color tied to it. Someone was leading me here. And there's another tape. Oh my god, Henry. Do I, do I put on the collar? 